Ömünd terabadın sağım. İş gün olsam. You are, you know, preserving morality. Oh, well done, Mark. Even five persons, even the five lay persons, um, you know, and those things are four persons, even two persons. Well, so that's one thing that's very, very, very, very, very important. So less harm other sentient beings, less harm yourself. Uh, so very, very important, but then, um, yeah, uh, yes, um, <coughs> but uh, not done well in keeping precepts and things. Uh, then, uh, you know, uh, for example, Zen, Zen Buddhism, Zen, Zen. Then well, the Gomba is totally empty. You can't have uh, no no Buddhas, uh, no statue of Buddha. I think uh, uh, totally empty. <coughs> then uh, no statue of Buddha. Uh, so, and uh, I mean I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean there's there's so many in the world in America. So many. In a pure practice, then, and um, you know, <coughs> you know, no holy object, just a very, very empty room, and um, you know because. With your philosophy, it's uh, nothing exists. There's no you, there's no others. There's no you, there's no others. Why you generate compassion? Others don't, do not exist. Why you generate compassion? There's no purpose. Because uh, others don't exist. There's no you, there's no others. In Zen. So, uh, so that means there's no Buddha, there's no Dharma, there's no Sangha. So I don't know why it's a little bit strange. <laughs> there's no Buddha, there's no Dharma, there's no Sangha. <laughs> so that, I don't understand. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyway, what I'm saying, life is very, uh, I mean, you know, by analyzing, uh, comparing, Comparing, you know, using the holy object, actualizing the holy object, and you know, so unbelievable merits you collect by looking at, even by believer or non-believer, by looking at it. So, creates um merits. I will not. I won't tell now, but let me later. <laughs> but uh, unbelievable. Wow, wow, wow, merit quite um, so fortunate, so fortunate, so fortunate. Um, so that um, even believe, even, un, even unbelievable, you see, look at them. So anyway, um, <laughs> so I'm saying, <laughs> comparing Zen. Uh, so you so believe. Nothing exists. Your mentation is that. <coughs> Your mentation is that. I don't know. Would you ask mind spaced out? I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know how the Zen masters they do advise. Would you stay spaced out of your mind? People can stay in hours being spaced out. Then after some time, your mind can become dull. You lose the sharp intelligence. You become dull, your mind. Uh, so anyway, 
uh, uh, uh, you, you lose your you lose your uh, memory or you lose your things like that memory not much or things uh, mind mem yeah anyway. so anyway but uh, then you need f uh, you you can't just sit all day long on bed you have to go bathroom <laughs> you have to go you have to cook you have to cook in bath you have, not bathroom <laughs> sorry <laughs> you have to cook in kitchen so yeah you don't cook in bedroom in bed or you don't cook in bathroom so you have to go to bathroom uh, uh, kitchen to cook. So you have to go bathroom pipi kaka. <laughs> so you can't do pipi kaka in the cook in the kitchen or your bed. You know. So I don't know. So uh, you, mean you have the recognition. You have the recognition of the your different room, toilets and uh, where is the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> then your meditation nothing exists. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I don't know how the master's the guide. But uh, anyway, so uh, you know where your life will go, where your life will reach, where your life will reach. Where, where, where your life will reach. You see, so life. Is, I mean. Um, According to so far what I heard, it's, I mean, it's uh, sort of, um, uh, maybe for a very disturbed mind, it can be, I don't know, very disturbed mind can be helpful for some people, but for a temporary, very short time. But anyway, uh, so, uh, so therefore, I said, I mean, going to towards enlightenment, you know, the developing the compassion to sentient beings, developing wisdom, either developing wisdom, ultimate wisdom, down wisdom, that I don't know. Uh, it's very difficult to say. So, your life, if you stay a monk for a whole life, I don't know. I really, I really don't know. Uh, so now, but these uh, holy objects, uh, buildings, statues, river, and so forth, so make it so easy to purify. You are, uh, no, not only people who build, but uh, insects, all the people around, I mean, around there, yeah, it is so easy to purify. You know, by having all the objects. Wow, wow, wow, wow. So, so, so, so, so easy to purify. And develop wisdom conversions. And develop the uh, whole path to enlightenment. Develop. So, for us, such easy way to do. Wow, wow, wow. Such easy way to. Um, Free from lower realm. Such easy way to be free from lower realm, to not be, from where we came, to not, be, to not get born there back, where we have been most of the time. You know, now at the moment, only uh, something just about one time we came back. We came to him again. So, uh, so it's so easy to purify the naked karma and to be free from Lord and free from samsara. So easy and to achieve enlightenment. So we are so we are able to um, you know able to meet the Mahana teaching able to meet my teaching and not on that Mali Mahayana teaching Sudra, not on that Tantra uh, also so here many people I have met 
so in we are unbelievable, unbelievable, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so maybe maybe that teaching tonight finish. Otherwise we we have to sleep. Otherwise can't do work tomorrow. So that's it. Okay. Thank you very much.